Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clean your fly line and store it for long periods of non-use. To get started, you're obviously going to need some supplies. First, I suggest hand soap. Not dish soap, not bar soap. I mean legit hand soap. Because dish soap is too tough on fly line and bar soap can leave a film on your line. Hand soap is just about right for this job. Second, you'll need a sink. Double basin works the best, and if you're not going to use a sink, I suggest using two buckets. And finally, you're going to need two soft cloths. Start by filling your bucket or sink with hot water. Put a few pumps of hand soap in the hot water and stir it until the suds build up. Begin taking the line off the spool and placing it in the soapy water. Try to place each section of fly line on top of the last to help limit knots. To be clear, you may still encounter knots. I haven't figured out a way to avoid knots. I always end up having to untangle a few. Let the line soak in the soapy water for 20 to 30 minutes. When time is up, wet one of the cloths and pull the line through the cloth. Place the line on the other side of the sink or in the other bucket to rinse. Rinse the line thoroughly to ensure all soap is washed off. When rinsed, run the line through the dry cloth. I am rinsing and drying the line in sections of several feet at a time to avoid more knots. Once a section of line is dry, reel it back onto the spool. Repeat this process until you've reached the end of the fly line. How often you clean your fly line is up to you. If you fish in cleaner water, you may only need to clean your fly line a couple times a year. If you fish in dirtier water like I do, you may want to clean it every few trips. Again, this is entirely up to you. Regardless, it is important to clean your line periodically to maintain peak performance and maximize the line's life. As any angler knows, fishing line has memory. Fly line is no exception. If you know you won't be fly fishing for a while, wrap your fly line around an old coffee or paint can to prevent it from remembering the tight coils from being stored on a fly reel. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out some of the other videos on our channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.